Hey guys, uh, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys my Jack Audio connection setup. Uh, so you can see here that I've got Pulse Audio Jack Source and Pulse Audio Jack Sync inside my Jack Audio connection. It's because I'm using Pulse Audio Jack module to connect my Pulse Audio into my Jack Audio. The reason is simply because most applications nowadays only support post audio and they don't uh, most of them don't don't support jack audio so I want to use jack audio but I don't want to break my system my art audio system so so this is the easiest method to do that so Basically, your application will use it will still use post audio, but the sound is actually being sent from and to Jack Audio. If you guys want to know how did I do that, you guys can click in the link I will put in the description below. I have written a tor tutorial in Manjaro forum, and I'm not gonna cover it up here on how to do that because this video is simply to show you guys my my setup here how did I connect this connection here so in the basic audio setup if you guys are like normal people who have speakers or headphones and all you want to do is to listen to music and playing videos etc what you guys need to do is just connect this hardware playback into your Pulse Audio Jack Sync and that's all. Pulse Audio Jack Sync is your Pulse Audio module that the applications will use to send output, will output sound. And hardware playback is your speakers or micro, uh, your sorry, your speaker or your headphones in Jack Audio. So when you connect this together, so I'm going to open up a music player. I'm using rhythm box here, and then I'm open up Pulse Audio Control or Puffer Control. When I play music here, you guys can see that uh, the output device that I'm using is Jack Sync, and then rhythm box is sending output into Pulse Audio Jack Sync. So what happens here is mm, rhythm box is sending output in sound output into post or sync and then post or sync is sending the sound into our headphones in check audio. And if you guys have a microphone like I do and you want to record a sound, your sound or you want to uh, call someone using Skype or things like that What you guys need to do is connect your hardware capture into your post audio jack source and Pulse audio jack source is basically the opposite of Pulse audio jack sync. So This is the Pulse audio module which is the output device that your application will use to capture sound and your hardware capture is your microphone uh, from Check audio. So, for example, you can see that my volume control here, I'm recording sound using OBS, and OBS is capturing sound from my post audio jack source. And the reason that you guys can hear to the music that I played uh, earlier is because OBS is also capturing sound from post audio jack sync. So that's what happens guys so and then uh, I got two more here which is optional and you guys don't need to have this all you guys need is this four connection here and the reason I have four is because I have two microphones and two headphones so what I do with the second headphones and microphones is I connect them like that to two so that the sound that I played here can also be heard from my second headphones and the sound that I send into my second headphone uh, microphone can also be be mm, recorded 
by post audio check source. So uh, I'm gonna grab my second microphone here and I'm going to talk to that. Hi guys. As you guys can hear that uh, the sound can also be captured captured from my second microphone. So uh, basically I I just used it use this to have more choice to use. So whichever microphone I'm using is the same that will re be recorded by OBS. And then what I did with the second microphone and headphones is I connect my my microphone, my second microphone into my first headphones. The reason is because when I uh, when I talk into the second microphone, I can hear it myself. And I also connected my first microphone into my my first headphones is because I want to monitor my own sound. So this is basically connecting your capture I into your playback is is basically mm, the same as direct monitoring uh, which some audio interfaces offers you. So you can hear your your own voice in real time and then I also connected my first microphone to my second headphones so that when I talked so that we can talk to each other so for example uh, me and my friend is is listening to the same audio using uh, two headphones here and then I don't want to I don't want to to get the headphone out from my ears but I want to communicate with uh, the person sitting next to me all I need to do is speaking into the microphone and he can hear me and I can hear him so that's what I'm doing guys and then the advantage of using check audio is you there's unlimited usage of this you can basically connect anything here just the way you want to to want it to be and what you can do with this is if you're using Claudia you can uh, you can add a new application here so for example I'm going to open up Recorec and Recorec is a uh, is a uh, Recorec is an, an application that can uh, make real-time effect to your sound so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this up first. I'm going to turn off everything so that you do if I don't damage your ear like this. Okay. I'm gonna put uh, in a effect called stereo harm and. What I'm doing gonna do here is I will connect my microphone into my rack rack input and then I will output them into post audio jack source. So you guys can hear that my sound is being filtered here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make this effect here and then Mm. Yeah. So, so now, now my sound, sound is being filtered in real time, guys. So that's what you can do with this. Another thing you can do is a more a cooler thing. So you can basically just uh, put in your check audio, check sync, post audio check sync, and then send it to my microphone and uh, my headphones sorry and send it to your ears and then I'm going to play the sound play the music and then I'm going to make the effect ah, guys can you hear that the sound is being filtered in real time so that's all guys that's all I want to share to you guys. I hope this video helps you in any way. 
and if you guys like this video please click on the like button below and if you guys want more videos from me please subscribe to my channel here this is my first video by the way and if you guys simply want to ask anything just ask them ask them in the command below or you guys can go to Manjaro forum that's where I I will be at uh, every day and thank you for watching guys I hope you guys have a wonderful day and goodbye